Tonight, St. Paul Mayor Melvin Carter's office confirms to us the city is in talks with some West Side residents to find a solution to a lingering issue of property loss. Between 1960 and 1962, the city bulldozed this area from Holman Field Airport West to the Wabasha Bridge and south to Annapolis Street. First on five tonight, Jay Coles talked with several of those people who now want an apology and reparations for their loss. They were called the West Side Flats along the Mississippi River, and they were bulldozed more than 60 years ago. 2,500 residents forced to move for an industrial park. According to the West Side Community Organization, the vast majority African American and Mexicans. Three of them, now in their 70s, sat down with me to explain their deep sense of loss. My mom and dad went down to the house one day, and the bulldozer was already through our porch and our. our Dining room. Linda Castillo says after their home was bulldozed, her family did not receive money to relocate. That's terrible. Mama, Daddy, my dad used to cry, my mom used to cry. Larry Lucio and his friends watched the city destroy their homes again with little or no monetary help. Watched the cranes tear down the houses. And it was, uh, uh, it was emotional, um, it was anger. Uh, frustration. Uh, yeah, I remember when they, the crane hit our house and it collapsed and uh, memories and uh, history. His best friend to this day, Sherman Townsend. It was hard. It was just hard. Um, particularly to leave my friends. A neighborhood gone. There will never be another West Side as far as I'm concerned. And the whole family, 10 of you, had no choice. No choice. Had to go. The West Side Community Organization now talking with city leaders about an apology and reparations. And I want to see that further developed. I want to see families that were hurt and displaced. Um, that that doesn't happen. And for the three former neighbors, they never want to see another child, they say, witness the bulldozing of their elementary school like they did. They take all that away from us? Without any explanation, that doesn't seem right. Now, Mayor Melvin Carter's office says this is a very important issue, and they are talking with residents, and they'll have updates on the progress in coming weeks. Reporting live in the newsroom, Jay Coles, 5 Eyewitness News.